Police Department began a new era. Today marked the first day on the job for new police chief Rodney Monroe. Monroe comes to Macon after several years as an assistant chief in Washington, D.C. He faces many challenges in his new position. Among them, a shortage of police officers. A lawsuit brought by several officers claiming the city promotes based on race and gender and low pay for police officers. Now, some city leaders have suggested a one-time $800 bonus instead of a pay raise in this year's budget. Monroe succeeds interim. Chief Brady Fields. Fields took over when Mayor C. Jack Ellis removed John Vasquez from the chief's position last year. Rodney Monroe certainly kept busy today on this his first day on the job as Macon's new chief. Amy Flesh talked with Mr. Monroe this afternoon. She is in the Macon newsroom to let you know how he plans to tackle some of those challenges he faces. Good evening, Amy. Hello, Frank. Well, Chief Monroe started his first day on the job with a staff meeting. He says he wants to know what issues are important to the officers in the department. And one of his first priorities is recruiting more officers to fill vacancies and also making sure officers stay around and are happy on the department. You look, start looking at officers' morale, a lot of it has to do with um, the way they're treated, uh, the opportunities that are afforded them within the agency. So Monroe is going to work on boosting officers' morale. He also wants to work to improve technology in the department. You can bring online uh, up-to-date uh, technology uh, within an agency, then that also helps to afford officers additional time to do some other things, problem solving within the communities. And that's one of Monroe's other priorities is working with the community. Well, Amy, do we know what Chief Monroe is doing to learn more about the department? Quite a bit. Actually, Brady Fields, the interim chief from the department, is working with Monroe to kind of make a smooth transition. Now, Chief Monroe also visited the Police Training Academy today. He even got to talk with Reverend Jimmy Waters, a longtime chaplain for the police department. All right, Amy, thank you very much. For now, Brady Fields, who was the interim chief, will work as a major in the